and today I'm reviewing this um, LOL OMG doll. This is one from the Movie Magic line. The box is a lot bigger than the others, I think. I'm pretty sure it's bigger from what I remember, or is it more deluxe? I'm not sure. It says VHS there. Um, it's got like a little pattern there on top. It's got a picture of her on the front. This is Spirit Queen. 25 plus surprises and two outfits. A fashion doll inside. Collect all four. This is the side. It's got some little pictures of some of the other dolls on there. Movie magic. So I'm like a video sell. And then there's her on the back with her two outfits. Collect movie scenes as well. Here's the others. So they have Misdirect, Gamma Babe and Starlet. My favourite one of the of the four was this one. I decided to just get one because they're so expensive. They're like £42 in most places each. This one costs 40 yeah, it's got like a little cinema reel there in the middle. It says two outfits. So this one looks kind of like a witch, which I love. Spirit Queen. So um, let's try and open her up. So, right, so we have another piece here. What the, what the flip? <laughs> okay, it's like a cinema screen. That's kind of cool. Uh, cinematic. This is strange. Look, it pops up and you get like, so you can put it in there. I don't know. I want you. I want you in. I want you in my spirit squad. Okay. Strange. <laughs> okay, and then it looks like you can clip that in there. It's got some OMGs in the audience. So do I just pull this out now? I want to see the doll. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, so this is a tape. What's in the other side? Do I have to open up the other side of the box to get it? I'm guessing I do. Okay, so let's open this side up now. Oh, why do I have to make this so complicated? I mean, obviously, I just want to, I just want the doll. I'm not bothered about the box. The box will be going in the bin. I might keep parts of the artwork because it does look cute. But it's kind of cool that they're making it into a playset, though. But, you know, that little sell pitch <laughs> I don't know okay right this is probably the doll <laughs> so let's start with this one anyway sorry it's taking so long to open okay so it's a cassette tape it says sound designer video cassette oh my god this is so weird new release and it says on the back warning this video cassette will melt if left in the car or in the sun two-day rental new release <laughs> okay how do I, okay, I think I have to get the, there's more sellotape. They have gone a bit crazy with the sellotape, as always. Ooh. Okay, so here's our doll. Let's have a look at her. Oh, she looks all right. Her face makeup looks okay from a glance. That's good. She has a little bit of a spot on her lip, but I can probably scratch it off like I did with that other doll. Her hair don't look too bad either. Let's pull this out and it says recording quiet please. That's the back of her box. It's like a little dressing room. It looks very vampire-esque. It says brew cold coffee. Coffee cold brew. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so let's have a look at her and our stuff and I think her stand is in here so let's get this out first so we have this stuff in here her stand is at the bottom there's a bunch of stuff in there I must say let's just get it all out oh that's cute there's like a little thing at the back that says spirit queen it's got two pictures over there and a little video cassette thing that is cute and then oh here's the other side the little earphones and that okay I'm putting my bits in here when I'm, <laughs> as I'm opening them. Put the rubbish in here. We have like a little instruction book as well. Okay, so like I said, we have a stand here. It's black. And there you go. There's a clip. And then the other bit that is in here. 
So she's very Halloween-y, which is the thing I really like. There you go, there's her stand, it's all black. We do have a witch's hat here. I'm going to be very careful cutting this stuff out. This sort of thing. So I'm guessing these go on something to do with that film thing we had. Because there was like something for this stuff to go. It's got like a little picture of two littles. But it looks like a movie film and it's sparkly. And it does flip up. So I'm guessing it's something to do with the playset. I'm not sure. Have a look at it in a minute. There's the other one. It's got one on their own. It's got spider web on it. I'm guessing this is her little sister. And that one flips as well. Is that upside down? Because they're different. Unless they flip different ways. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. And then, oh, we have two more clips. I don't know why they keep giving us so many clips. It's strange, but... Okay. <laughs> Just work on your quality a bit more. To get all the clips. I mean, I'm hoping she's alright, but there has been a lot of bad quality with these dolls in the past. And the thing, missing accessories annoy me more than anything else. There we go. This is her hat. Looks like it clips on the head. That's cute. Hope it stays on with that big hair that she's got going on. But it looks like it's on, like... It's pretty cool. It's like on a headband, but it's like quite far back. And it does have the little witch's hat on it, witch's turret, and it looks all um looks like it's all stitched and it's flat here with the white on it. And like I said, it is a hairband, so hopefully it'll go on her head all right. We do have a bit of tissue paper here as well. Looks like it's got glasses all over it with like bat wings. And it's a blue pink. And silver, I think. Oh, a pair of glasses. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. I wasn't expecting that. Um, fair enough. Maybe it's to look at those things. I'll have to try that out later. Um, so here is her with all her pieces that are coming in with her. Yeah. Try and get her out really carefully. She does look like she has a boom mic here, which is really cool. Very much reminds me of Castor Fierce from Monster High, because she came with a microphone. It looks um, very witchy. Um, I think some of the stuff you can just take up without using the scissors. But I try to get out what I can without using the scissors. Okay, pull her hair. There you go. Her hair is really neat, actually. It's pretty gel. Oh, wow, it's gelled. <laughs> uh, but that's good in a way because hopefully it'll, you know, stay in place. So I wasn't sure about her hair when I first saw her. But then when I saw the fact that she was in a witch's outfit and she had this makeup, this awesome, awesome spiderweb makeup, it made me want to. Her hair is a really pretty colour as well. It's white. And it does have this. Um, I think it's like a red. It looks like a very light red. To me, it looks red anyway. Like a ruddy pink, maybe? And it kind of, on the camera, it kind of looks a bit sparkly, but I don't think it actually is. And she does have like a widow's peak type thing going on at the front, kind of. It's really cool, and it's all streaked, and then it's in these two buns. And like I said, it is proper gelled. So it's definitely staying like that unless you want to wash it. But I. I think I'm going to leave it. It looks pretty cool. It's very unique. Um, she does have a few odd strands, which I'm just going to yank. There we go. Not too bad. Okay, so she does have some pink lipstick, and it. she does have a bit of chipped paint or extra paint on her lip. Yeah. Which I could probably get off with a pair of tweezers. I'll try that again because I did that with uh, one of the little dolls that I had. Because she had like a massive white piece of... It's probably... I think it's from her eye makeup. From the eye. From the white of the eye. Yeah, that's what it looks like anyway. Um, the, the makeup is really pretty. It's pink and silver cobwebs around her eyes. They're so cool. And her eyes are a really unique colour. Like a really... Really 
dark purple yeah they look really pretty very different and then like i said uh, light pink lips um she has a nice pretty um skin tone as well like a darker skin tone which looks really nice she does actually have like a robot hand oh it's not a robot hand ah <gasps> that is cool it's like a skeleton oh wow that is awesome look at that Oh, cool. It's like a skeletal silver hand. And then she does have silver nails. I thought it was the same as the, the rocker ones, but it isn't. The other one's just silver. That is really cool. Wow. I think I might have to take this off because, you know, covers up the coolness of the hand. Her outfit is white. She does have a top and a skirt on. It's white and it does have these little stripes on it. And the stripes are kind of... Like a slightly different material, which is really cool. Yeah, so it's got two little different bits of material striped across it. It's like a turtleneck. I love the socks. That is just so witchy. So striped socks or tights. Really cool. And of course, she has the articulation. Elbow, wrist, snap knee. And then her neck moves around from side to side. She is very cool. Like I said, I'm going to have to do something about that lip, though. <laughs> Leave her there for a second. She does have the the uh, boom mic. I don't know if she just holds it or if it has a bottom to it. But I've seen online people put this these things on there to make it like a witch's broom. But like I said, I don't know if there's like a stand as well or if she just holds it. But I've looked online. It looks like you can do that with it to make it a witch's broom. It looked better online. Maybe you put both on under it so make it look more poofy. Or maybe there is an actual broom thing. I don't know. I guess we'll find out <laughs> as we look. But yeah, the boom mic's pretty cool. It's all uh, twisty twirly on there. It's got a handle there. And then this bit moves all around. That's really cool. And it does have like a little detail there. Kind of looks like an eye, but I don't think it is. <laughs> kind of cool. And then... She does have a bunch of other stuff in here. Her accessories. Obviously, she comes with two outfits, which is really cool. I might not try both of them on today, but I might, I'll might. i probably put pictures at the end. So if I will try them on now, but I might do it another day and then just pop the pictures at the end of the video. So you will see her in both. Just maybe not all, just maybe not all in one video. It just depends on how much time I have or how awkward it is to change her. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving the, the look of that paper in the middle there with the moons and moons. It looks really cool. I'm interested. I really want to open this first because I really want to know if she has comes with uh, jewellery. So it says LOLMG. It's uh, white. And in here it has the same paper. Two lots of paper. And this one, it's... I might move the camera down, actually. It'll probably be easier. There's a lot of mess on this table. So in here we have... Oh, we've seen this before with that. Uh, what was her name? One of the rocker dolls. So it's got like a little belt, the little thing that goes around the waist. I think this is for a second outfit, if I'm not mistaken. So it's been recolored pink and silver. The little buttons at the front because the other one was all silver. It does look cute though, I do like it. And then this is the a recolour of um, the one that the Lady Gaga doll came with. This is really pretty too. So it's pink and silver again. And then this is painted sparkly pink, a sparkly pink heart. I think I probably do prefer the original paint colour of this, but it's cool that they've done a different style, I guess, for it. Okay, and then, oh, it looks like we have both earrings, thank goodness, because that's always something I'm missing. <laughs> So she has her earrings. I've seen these a few times before. I think they first came with the doll from the Christmas series with the purple curly whirly hair. And they've come with a few other dolls since. So they're the hoops with like earphone bits at the top. They're silver. They match her pretty well because she's pretty silver and all that. She comes with a pair of glasses. They're black and they have sparkles all around them. They look like bat wings. Pretty cool. And I think that's it, unless there's some extra bracelets or something that I've missed. No, I think that's everything in the little pot. Okay. Yep, look, bad looks of it anyway. Okay, let's put them to the side so we don't get, don't lose them. And then here is her shoes. So it says, 
Oh, they look really cool. Spiderweb wedgies. I love all the spiderwebs on the box. It's just giving me such Monster High vibes. And that's a good thing because I miss Monster High. <laughs> so it's got the same paper again. And then in here, oh my God, they're so cool. I love them. <gasps> wow, these are so cool. So they're pink and black, very Dracula-esque <laughs> with spiderwebs all over them. How cool is that? They are like molded, like spider webs. I don't think we've seen these before, but I could be wrong. Maybe they've just been repainted. I, I'm pretty sure they're unique. They are really cool. Very pretty. I really like them. And then we do have a little book. So it says, Low, The Lowellville Reporter Double Feature. And then here it says, Spirit Queen, I vaunt you in my spirit squad. So is she like a vampire? Glam Mansion Night. As always, the mystery leads somewhere spooky. Spirit Queen knows that together they will accept. It says something else there as well. The Amazing Award. Time to follow the sparkling spider web to a low L surprise studios to... Be continued and it says the end it says accept and it says attend amazing and the i'm not sure what that says you have to let me know maybe use the glasses to read it i'm not sure scan to play movie magic oh is it like an app you can play that's cool. And then we have the free bags. This one has books all over it. Rom-com, comedy, sci-fi video, drama, action. God, it's got a lot of different videos on there. That's really cool. And then in here we have a skirt. That's cute. So it comes with a black hanger. It has spider webs all over it. And it has like a trim down the sides. It's kind of spider looks really sparkly through the camera. Oh, there we go. Through the camera it kind of looks like different colours, but I think it is just grey, the spider webs. And then it does have a white strip with a bit of grey in the middle down it. And it's like a pencil skirt. That's pretty cool. And then this one looks really cool as well. Looks like a heart monitor. Pretty cool other wavy bit this is the outfit that i like the most out of the two and then this one looks really cute so it has it kind of looks like a cheerleader outfit um I'm sure i like the unfinished edges there i hope they don't um can you turn it inside out Oh, you can. Oh, I think I prefer that side. Oh, can you turn both of these inside out? That's really cool if you can. So on this side, it's black and white, and it kind of has straps like a crisscross at the back. This side, it's black with the white straps. And then inside, it's all spider webby. No, the top doesn't turn inside out, just the bottom. Hmm, interesting, because it does have a little bit on this side as well. Hmm, very different. <laughs> and then here we have this, it's just my favourite of the bags. Look how cool that is, that's like the moon changing. That is so pretty and it's really, it's got like a really nice bit of silver on the black and white and it just looks really pretty, it's like moon and stars. And then in here, oh, it looks like we have a jacket. Oh, this is cute. So we have a pink hanger. And, oh, wow, this jacket is really cute. Don't want to ruin the bag because it's so cute. I love this bag. It looks so pretty. I love it. So pink hanger and a little coat. And the coat is all sparkly inside, but it's not, it don't come off by the looks of it. It's like, um yeah. This, oh, wow, the sleeves feel so silky. Such an awesome material. They have spider webs all over them. They're kind of see-through. has, like, white on the sleeve a little bit of black stripe same on the back here and then it's got that really pretty sparkly material at the back as well which doesn't come off it's like embedded in that is really cute and it's got like a bit of a white stripe that side as well 
cool okay so okay so here she is i've got her dressed um this is really badly stitched on this top look at that look at the way it's been stitched it's all ruched up there it's like got the gap there as well it's got bits hanging out from under it's just really badly really badly stitched so yeah we got two outfits but you skimped on the quality which is not good and it does look like you can turn the skirt inside out and it does have a bit on the back and I have no idea why I'm very confused why it has like an out a bit I don't know why I'm very very confused by that it doesn't show you anything in the box I really don't know Go. this is the way her earrings go it doesn't show you what's supposed to go there the hat fell off so you put the there we go you put it in like that it's, it doesn't stay on that oh, it's not too bad but she does look really cute i did decide to put these things on um there you go so there she is in the witch outfit I think it's very cool. I might change her into the other outfit because I wouldn't mind seeing what it's like. And then we'll try and see what the, on earth these cell things are. She can't really hold this thing very well because it's so heavy. But you can put one of them on the bottom, make it look like a broomstick. Maybe you can put two. I'll try that out in a minute as well. So basically for the other outfit, you have the skirt. So basically we just take the skirt off by the looks of it and then put the other the skirt and jacket off. And then we put this on instead. So we'll try this. I suppose you could also use the white bits as well. The white clothing if you wanted to as well. You could, because you have that outfit too, because you take these off. So you also have this as well. The outfit she was wearing when we first got her out. So she does come with quite a lot. I realised what it was for. It's for this. So you basically put it on the bottom of this pencil skirt. And put it like that. And then it makes the skirt look longer. Mm, kind of works but it kind of looks a bit strange with the <laughs> the white bit running out I don't know let me know what you think so here she is I could not put these things on her arms they would not go up and I didn't bother putting her hands back on because I'm gonna because I'm gonna change her mm, I definitely prefer the other outfit this one just looks a bit weird it's okay but I don't like it that much she can't wear her earrings either because this thing is in the way it does cover up the bad stitching though, but I don't know. Or you can have it like that without the the bottom piece if you if you want to. So here she looks without the hat, without the things on her arms. And as you can see, I love that skeleton hand. It looks so cool. That is really awesome. On the other side, it's just silver. So it's obviously just like a glove, but it's really pretty. I love it. I don't know if I prefer without the things. I think I like a better with them, maybe. Let me try the hat without the things and we'll see. They don't really stay on the bottom of the broomstick very well. But you can do that if you want to, you know, make it look like a broomstick. There we go. that to balance well on that there we go i think i like about with them just because it looks more witchy if you know what i mean let's pop these on as well <laughs> okay so we put one on this side oh she is really cool though i just think the extra outfit is kind of a bit cheap they didn't put a lot of effort into the extra stuff because like the plastic stuff is all recolored and it doesn't look as good as it did before because the original i have the original colored ones and they look way better um and the skirt is mm, it's not that great the fabric's okay it's just it doesn't really go very well oh it opens up this end as well. Hmm. Maybe I did it wrong. <laughs> I really don't know. I'll have to look at some pictures online. And if I did do it wrong, I'll, I'll try and try it on again. But yeah, it opens that end as well. What a weird skirt. <laughs> it's very strange. 
Yeah, but it'd been good if they could have done something with this combo, you know, included this, because these these are underclothes that she was wearing actually have really good quality. They don't really go with anything. I mean, if you want to use them, you can, but it would have been cool if they put an outfit together with them, but I suppose you could do that yourself. Yeah, she looks pretty cool. I like her. I really like the jacket. The hat is cool too. It probably wouldn't stay on that well if you were playing with her, but... On display, hopefully it will. I love the makeup. I think the makeup is amazing. She looks very witchy, which I love. It's perfect for Halloween. Let's put on a stand. Okay. There we go. She looks like a witch cheerleader or something like that. <laughs> I don't really like the glasses. They're okay. They're not that amazing. Like I said, all of these bits are just, sorry, are just recolors of the other versions. They're okay. I mean, obviously, if you didn't get the originals, maybe you'll like them a lot because it like it, you can get them. But they came with like the pop star dolls. I've done that upside down, I think. Or have I? Yeah, I think I have. <laughs> yeah, clip it back together. Yeah, I mean, yeah. This is cute, but like I said, the original was way cuter, which is the. Lady Gaga type of doll and then we also have this outfit which is pretty cool that you get a spare outfit I must say that is pretty cool that you get this white outfit you'd have her in some casual clothes which is kind of cool yeah so it's not bad and like I said she can hold this but not very well <laughs> Kind of just, you know, maybe it sits on the playset somewhere because it's kind of big. Like, she's not going to sing through a boom mic. It's more like held above, you know, by someone else, if you know what I mean. When they're making a movie. <laughs> it's not something you sing into. It looks like you're supposed to put the film cell in here, but I don't have a clue how. Like, these little things are clearly meant for this. Because what else is their purpose? I'm going to have to watch someone's video. Unless you just do that with them. Does it slot in underneath? No. It's so weird. But this one comes the other side. So maybe it's supposed to be like that. Like, is the other one backwards? There's nothing for it to slot into. It's just so weird. Oh, unless it goes in like that. Does it go in here like this? I might, oh, or like that. Okay, <laughs> that went in the back. Oh, like this. Okay, I think I've got it. Okay, it goes in like that. I got it in. There we go. So it slots in like that. Okay, and then, I mean, I'm not going to keep the place there. But, and then this one can slot in as well. So, yeah, they just literally slot in like that. But this one, I think, is upside down because the picture has been put upside down. So if you put that in, it's literally going to be upside down. So it's kind of weird. They've made a mistake with that, I think. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, I'm not really that bothered by the actual playset, but if you want to use it, you can. Maybe you can figure out, <laughs> you know, a better way of putting it together. But yeah, this is kind of pretty with all the smoky bit on there. Yeah. She's kind of cool. I like the actual doll, but the playset is kind of meh. Not that bothered by it, but she is really cute. I really like her. I love the skeletal hand and the makeup and everything. The other outfit, I'm not bothered by it, but this one is cute. I do like this outfit. It does have some... Some... Uh, unfinished stitching, like some... some it hasn't been stitched, basically. It's just been, like, glued or something. I don't like that. Like, I mean, it's okay, but if a kid plays with it, that is definitely going to... I reckon that's going to come undone over time. It's probably not going to stay looking good. But it'll probably be fine on my shelf because I'm not going to play with it. But it's not good quality for children to be playing with. Especially for the price. So paying like 40 quid. It's a lot of money. You haven't put the effort in 
just because we're getting an extra outfit don't mean you, you skimp on the quality you put the price up for one you know <laughs> you've already put the price up by 10 quid you're skimping on the quality as well that just kind of sucks yeah so but the doll is cute i do like her i love the fact that she looks like a witch is very cool she's gonna look very cool on display she's very different to any of the other dolls i have so that's what i really like about her i really love the socks they look so cool i've been waiting a while for this doll yeah i love the shoes they look really cool as well very black and white with a little touch of pink i guess the stuff in her hair is pink as well not red there's more pink at the back goes down the sides and in the middle and most of it's white yeah, she just has like little touches of pink, which is really cute. But yeah, she's mostly monotone. Yeah, she's really cool. I like her a lot. Let me know what you think of her and the playset and everything else that she comes with. Um, let me know what you think of that like, if you've got any of the others and which one you want to get, you know. I think Gamma Babe is alright, but I don't think I'll buy any more. The quality of the clothing is not that great and it's a lot of money for what they are. And like I said, this was the one I liked the most out of the out of the four. This was my fave. So Mainly because of the fact she looks like a witch. I did not realise she had the skeletal hand because it wasn't shown in any of the pictures. And that is awesome. That was a really cool thing to discover. I love it. So I'm definitely going to have to try and position these things so I can see it because it looks awesome. It's very cool. Reminds me very much of like Monster High in their prime. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you think. Like, comment and subscribe. Bye everyone. Thank you.